Hey, what's up? So, I wanted to start trying my hand at some uh, Sam Sulik style content where, you know, I'm just working out and giving insights into why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, that guy's been an inspiration for a lot of people, myself included. And I feel like what he does is like just the kind of content I feel fits me best. Um, it allows me to focus more on my workouts and also communicate the details of why I train the way I train. Um, you know, as somebody that's been a, a, a lifelong natty and, you know, likes to focus on both calisthenics and weight training, um, I think it can provide some method to the madness that, you know, a lot of people see um, when they see me in the gym. So this is my first attempt at this. Um, I'm trying to get used to this new camera that I'm using, um, which unfortunately ended up running out of storage towards, you know, the latter half of my workout. So the whole thing's not there. So it's going to end somewhat abruptly. Uh, so, you know, live and learn. I plan to get better at it um, as I go. Uh, I have some other footage that I probably am going to repurpose for other purposes because, you know, I messed up the audio that I just talked into my mic and my, my mic wasn't hooked up right, you know. You know, I'm a scrub. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, you know, I hope people find value in this and, you know, please, uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you find any of this useful and until next time, peace. Like pressing a handstand or frog stand in a handstand, uh, and just see what my shoulder can handle because my shoulder's been a little iffy these past several months, but due to increasing my mobility, it's actually gotten a lot better, uh, far better than I expected. I was able to lift some heavy weight on my bench last night, relatively heavy weight, you know, I'm not like Sam Sulik or anything, but, um, you know, I'm getting back to where I was earlier this year. Um, I want to start repping 315 again, so, I'm well on my way to doing that, so I'm happy. So I'm gonna see what my shoulder can handle today. But first, I'm gonna warm up with the rope. So let's get that in. Get some music on. What, what are y'all listening to in terms of workout music these days? Send me some playlists. I got the hoodies on right now. I got some Aesop Rock. The new album is fire. Really liking it much better than his last several projects because it's not depressing. Aesop is probably my most influential rapper. Love the guy. Four millimeter rope, that's what I use to jump rope. SRS Elite. This one's about to snap on me. That's the uh, downside to having a four millimeter rope is that they can break easily when you go ham like I do. So I have to replace these often. I'm trying to find a better replacement. So far, I haven't been able to find something. The four millimeter rope is important to me because I can not only do things like releases and stuff like that, but I can also swing the rope relatively fast and have a lot of control over it. It's just the perfect medium for me. Anything thicker than that, I feel like I'm getting control taken away from me and I just don't like that. The momentum of the weight, oh, excuse me, the momentum of the rope takes over, which I don't like too much. Warm up before you warm up. <clears throat> Make sure the releases are looking okay. Still working on the consistency of that. Doing mic releases with a four millimeter rope is, is challenging because when you have a heavier rope, the momentum can take over and make the movement easier. So usually when people are teaching a mic release, they tell you to use 
a beaded rope, which is very thick, and you get a lot of momentum with each swing. It makes it easier to learn, but then, you, like I said, there's other things that are, you know, not as, uh, I don't want to say, I don't want to say not as challenging or anything like that, but I always like to have feedback with my rope. And when you have a light rope, you always feel the feedback. You can feel the rope. You feel like everything that you do with your wrist is influencing the rope. I like that sense of control. So, it took me a long time to get the mic release down. Long, like I've been doing this whole jump rope, jump rope release thing. All the fancy tricks I've been doing that for, you know, a good seven, eight years before it started getting popular recently, you know? And I, it took me a long time to learn how to do the mic release because I was so stubborn and didn't want to use a thick rope, but I'm finally getting it down now. Oh, let me turn on my, uh, Let me turn on my exercise app. I use Yao Yao when I jump rope. It tracks your, it tracks your skips, tracks your calories burned, tracks the amount of time that you jumped, all helpful metrics. metrics. All right, this mic is hurting my... I will see you in about five to 10 minutes.
All right, gonna try a few muscle ups. Hopefully this thing doesn't overheat on me again. Let's see how this looks. Not bad. I'm gonna try to clean it up on my next set. See how that goes. All right, so typically I do lever training on a Smith machine, but the Smith machines are being taken today. So, you know, there's a million ways to skin a cat, as I always say. So, got to with that. I'm gonna use a one parallel to do my lever training today, and that'll have to suffice. I'll try one set without assistance and see how that goes. <clears throat> Ouch. One-legged attempt is not bad. Typically, I try full, but I can already tell with the extra weight that I have right now that that wasn't going to go well, so I just stuck to one foot. Once I get the, uh, the assistance in, I'll definitely be having both feet out. Till then. All right, this is my third set. I'm gonna use a band for this one. I'm gonna go with purple. Let's see how this goes. Try to get both my feet out. See how. See if I can hold that for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna see if I can accumulate at least a minute. Yeah, that was rough. Alright, gonna try my fourth set here. Gonna try maybe a split hold for this one. I don't think I could do a full one, but let's see how it goes. I might have to modify mid set. I really hate having to do lever training on these fucking things. <sighs> they always feel like they're about to tip over, especially when you're coming out of it. Why the f
Uh, I hate balancing on these dumbbells. Uh, uh, one more step for the road. Here we go. Not really the road, but this is the last set. See if I could hold a full one for 10 seconds with the band. I'll be happy with that. Uh, I'll also be happy this thing doesn't tip over and make me feel like I'm about to break my neck. I don't even <sighs> Yeah, that was a good one. All right, before I head over to some weighted pull-ups, I'm just gonna practice a few planche to handstands, see how that goes. Um, last time I tried it, it was pretty okay on my shoulder, but um, yeah, I just wanna continue to make sure that I'm making that progress and then I'm gonna do some weighted pull-ups. Let's see how this goes. Not bad, didn't look or feel great, but not bad. All right, here I'm gonna do a bit of a superset. I'm gonna do some weighted pull-ups with some pike holds on those dumbbells that you see behind me. Uh, I'm doing the ladder because I realize I need to get used to being in that pike position again, uh, utilizing the right muscles, so really gonna be focused on scapular protraction and retraction and trying to keep my arms as straight as possible and feeling tension in both my biceps and my shoulders and weighted pull-ups are you know self-explanatory so here we go Yeah, and, and that's about where the footage ends because I ran out of storage. You saw me throwing up my hands because I just couldn't find the weight that I wanted to use for my weighted pull-ups. I mean, typical day at a you know corporate gym where you know nobody cares about you know what goes where. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the footage. Again, if you uh, find it useful, uh, please leave a a like, comment, subscribe, and you know I'll see you next time. Peace.